Hey guys, Kelsey here with some uh, quick minute mobility. I had a bunch of requests for some shoulder stuff. So we're gonna go through a quick little shoulder routine that you can do at your home. All you need really is a strap, yoga block if you have it. If not, I can show you something else. All right, so let's come meet on our forearms. When you come towards your forearms, just make sure your elbow's directly underneath your shoulder. All right, I'm going to face my hands down. I'm going to slightly start to round my upper back and then drop. I'm gonna imagine the crown of my head is reaching forward. What these are called is a little scapular push-up. So I'm working to manipulate those muscles of my upper back, kind of wake them up before we work on opening up our shoulders. So as I exhale, I'm gonna retract. Inhale, protract. So it's a little subtle motion there in my upper back. From there, we're going to come up towards our hands. Same idea, hands here, right underneath the shoulders. We're gonna do something called that cat cow yoga stretch. I'm going to squeeze my shoulders back, tilt my tailbone, inhale, look up, creating a nice extension in my spine. Exhale, push the ground away, round. Looking towards my belly button again. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. A few things to think about. Just make sure the creases of your elbows here are coming forward. Usually what happens is these elbows are going to stay bent. So I sort of arch my back. I'm not pushing off the ground enough to create that bend in my upper back. Otherwise, you're not really going to get what you need there for this exercise. From there, we're going to take our strap and meet me here on your knees. We're going to hold our right arm up by our head. You're going to bend your arm, left arm, palm up, palm down. External rotation of the shoulder, internal rotation. We're going to grab our strap. From there, walk the hands down as much as you can. Again, be keen towards those elbows. Keep them in. View from the side. Other side. Always do think about creating that extension in your upper back. So never any slouching with these. We're taking away the point from really trying to open up the shoulders and open up our ribcage. And then you can do the other side, so you can see how bad my other side is here. Left arm, bend. Right arm here, just do these a few times. Again, warming up our shoulder joint. External rotation of the shoulder, internal rotation. External, internal. Big breath out. You can take your hand, grab a strap. Go that way. I've got movement here. Again, elbows stay nice and tight towards the body, working to create that nice little bend in my upper back, breathing a few times here. From there, we're gonna release. We're gonna take our strap behind our back now. Same idea, always working to create that nice opening in the chest. My elbows are gonna come in, my shoulder blades squeeze down, and I'm gonna bring my hands down my back. Holding for a few counts. Again, resisting the urge to slouch in these positions. Last stretch here, a nice little way to open up our lats. If you have your yoga block, you're gonna take your hands here, active energy coming in towards the block, palms nice and flat. My elbows are gonna come in. Here, pan over me so they can see, all the way above me. So see how my elbows are a more narrow angle than my hands. We started off the video here with my elbows being in line with my wrists. My elbows now are going to be a little bit more narrow. I'm going to have that energy of my hands coming in, almost like I can, I can pick up the block. Elbows nice and tight, rounding my upper back, walking my knees back a pinch. I'm going to sit my way back. So here, just go all the way around me. See how I'm creating this nice little stretch here on my ribcage, my lats. Being very conscious that my shoulder blades are still pulling down my back. You find yourself punching up in your shoulders like this as you're holding that stretch. Reset, pull the shoulders down the back, shift the weight back, and continue to hug the block. If you don't have a block, you can still take the elbows in. You're going to press your thumbs together to create that energy of coming towards one another there for the hands. I'm going to sit my weight back. Same idea here. And of course, always ending with a nice child's pose. So we're going to come here onto our knees. Hands are going to come forward up on my fingertips. Same idea what we talked about there with the elbows. Elbows always hugging in. My hands are about shoulder distance apart. I'm going to bring my chest down to the ground as much as possible. Usually we want to always round our forehead in child's pose, but we're going to work to create extension this time. I'm going to crawl my hands up and over towards the right side. 
and macabre over towards the left side. From here coming center. Again, nice active hands. Palms flat, if they're flat, think about your pinky finger and your thumb spreading in two opposite directions. Otherwise, a lot of tension here on the fingertips, almost like I'm trying to palm a basketball. So try each stretch for about a minute. Remember, breathing nice and calm through every movement. And uh, give it a go, tell me what you think. Thanks.